Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad, and today we're going to talk about Rotate. So, Rotate lets you rotate things. Don't get this confused with Orbit. Orbit is how you, as the modeler, move around something that's in SketchUp for iPad. Rotate lets you select geometry as part of your model and spin it around a point. Uh, we'll take a look at how to use that right now. Okay, so I have just a simple cube. This cube is currently in a group, so I did grab it, put it in a group. If you don't know what groups are, check out the previous video on groups, then you'll know. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Rotate to move this. So one of the things that you can do in SketchUp for iPad is you can pre-select. This means select geometry first, then choose a tool to manipulate it. Um, with Rotate in particular, I am a huge fan of pre-selecting. Uh, if you don't have anything selected and you go into a tool that modifies geometry, uh, you kind of end up in this mode where the first thing you hover over or click on gets selected and you start modifying it. I find it to be much, much easier to pre-select. So in this case, like, like I just did, tap this being the thing that I want to rotate before I bring up the rotate command. So we're going to go in now and we're going to go to rotate. Rotate, of course, is going to bring up a little sub menu. So we have some options here. The first one at the top is copy. So as I rotate this thing, make a duplicate of it. So don't rotate the original, rotate a copy from the point that I select. Then, of course, I have the red, green, blue axes. So I can actually lock to those. And then uh, a parallel and perpendicular. So we're gonna actually, I'm gonna do this. As I go through here, what, what will happen is as you hover over a specific uh, face, SketchUp will automatically try to use that face as the, you know, the, the axes that it wants to rotate along. That's not always great. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not what I want to do. So if you do want to lock your axes to rotate on a specific axis, I do recommend selecting that first. So I want to rotate this from the flat. So I'm going to turn on my blue axes lock up front. All right. So we're going to show a couple different ways to do this. I want to start with using the pencil in just draw mode. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to come touch a point. So I'm going to grab this corner and I'm going to pull off a line that I'm using basically as a handle to rotate along. So I'm just going to click right here and drag along. See, so as long as I'm holding this down, uh, I can choose where I want it to be. I'm going to use the red axis and let go. Now I'm going to draw again from pretty much anywhere, and that's just going to spin that axis so I can go to whatever angle I want. With any of these moves, as you do it, you can come in here and specify an exact degree. So I went 35. If I say I want to go 30, enter, you'll see it pops back just five degrees. Pretty simple. Uh, very similarly, if I go into click, move, click, it's going to work very, very much the same. I'm going to go ahead and use the red axes here. And I'm going to say I want to go from here, but I have to long press to pick that point, long press to pick this point, And then as I rotate, long press again to actually rotate. This is good. Let's keep going. Let's, let's say what happens if you don't have your pencil on you. You got to use your finger. Um, I'm going to rotate this time on the green axis axis because you know because that's fun so it's, it's very similar to what i did before i'm going to click on that first point i'm going to hard press over here to pick the ax or the line that i want to rotate from and then i'm going to hard press and spin to rotate and guess what the mouse works very 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 much the same i'm going to bring my mouse in here and uh let's go ahead and spin this guy We'll say we'll lock it on this axis and I'm going to go ahead and turn on copy also. So I'm going to click here, click here, spin around, click again, and there we go. And that is all there is to rotate. Rotate's kind of a funny command because there's a lot of clicking, but if you know what you're doing, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think I just kind of said it all. Rotate a lot of times people get confused because they're not sure what exactly they're doing and there's there's one two three three to four clicks and it's a lot uh, But the real simple thing is lock in if you want to the axis you want to rotate along Pick the center of the rotation and come out grab your handle where you want to pull it from move it to where you want to pull, rotate it to 
If you kind of think about those three steps, it's fairly simple. Uh, and of course, the best way to get used to using it is to practice it. Go into SketchUp for iPad, rotate some stuff. Remember, two finger tap to undo if it doesn't rotate right. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, please leave us a comment down below. What do you think of Rotate? Is it easier to use on the iPad than it is in SketchUp Pro? Love to hear your thoughts. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.